everyone, it's the Power Couple, and in this video, I'm going to be analyzing the finale of season 4. This was probably the hardest hit finale thus far. But anyway, let's start with Risk. This is probably Shadow Moth's best and smartest plan ever, considering the many, many times he's failed. To acclimatize a kid looking very similar to their civilian form was a genius idea since no one would have thought about it. I loved how Adrian was so close to telling his father how he truly felt, but of course he had to be shut down. I also adored how he shut down Lila completely as soon as one sentence came out of her mouth. The only problem I had with Lila, though, was that we only saw her in the finale. In all the 24 episodes, we only either saw her as a background character or not even a character at all since she wasn't even in the episode. I would have expected for Lila to be in it more, considering she was a major player in season 3. Now on to the Adrianette scene. I love this scene. Just to see Adrian grab Marinette's hand as if they were a real couple after he said, Well, you're the only one. The only sad bit was that everyone except Marinette believed Adrian was happy to be leaving Paris. The part that really kills me, though, is that none of them, not even Nino, his best friend, asked him how he felt, and that just made the whole thing sadder than it already was. Now, I kind of jumped the gun here a bit. I didn't even properly start at the beginning of the episode, so why don't we retrace our steps and go back there? The Lady Noir portion was small, but I do love the Kuroneko references with Cat Noir and how Ladybug reassures him with the small, sweet, romantic kiss on the cheek. And then you can just see Cat Noir's face light up with joy. Felix was amazing in this episode since he was able to find out Emily was underneath the mansion the entire time, proving his speculation that Gabriel is Shadow Moth. Although he did try to be nice to Adrian, we all knew he had other intentions. I know he wasn't really amazing in some people's perspective, but story-wise perspective, he was awesome. Now, let's move on to Strike Back. Let's begin with Ladybug and Cat Noir arguing with each other once again. The Cat Blanc flashback Ladybug had was pretty scary since it clearly shows that she is still traumatized from that event and traumatized a lot. I do agree with Cat Noir when he says that. Maybe because you never talked to me about anything. But I think that's all about to change in season five. Rena Furtive was incredible in this episode and she discovered Risk, but unfortunately her cover was blown by Nino. And I guess this is why Ladybug told her not to tell anyone, which she didn't do. It was really sad to see her renounce tricks but I understand her reasons. She will be missed, but I believe she will come back in season five. Lila pretty didn't do anything in this episode, but I wonder why she was smirking while Natalie was pretty much collapsing to the ground. It is pretty suspicious, and it leads me to believe that she'll have a big role to play in season five. Felix was an absolute mastermind since he was able to do in one day what Gabriel couldn't do in months. He also gave the ring back to Gabriel, although I have no idea why he said, I won't be needing it anymore. Or why he said, If I wanted to harm you, uncle, I would have done it a long time ago. This is pretty suspicious. Something must have happened between the two of them that caused Felix to have even thought of this. They make a little bargain, and now Felix has the Peacock Miraculous, and Gabriel has all the other Miraculouses in his possession, other than the Ladybug and Cat Noir, of course. Now let's move on to the Ladrian scene. The Ladrian moment in this episode was outstanding. Just to see how much our boy cares about her is so touching. Ladybug's panic attack broke my heart, since she must have felt so much guilt for everything that was happening at the moment. And... This also happens to people in everyday life, and we don't even acknowledge that. The part that really broke me was to see her collapse 
to the floor of Adrian's bathroom. At that moment, I couldn't. I don't know how she was holding herself together still. Finally, the part you guys must have been waiting for me to discuss. The Lady Noir end scene. I'll be honest with you all. I cried during this scene. At last, Ladybug had sort of come clean with Cat Noir after everything she's done to him this season. I love how Cat Noir was just reassuring his lady who's lost everything except her loyal partner. He even brought in all of Paris to cheer for her. She truly has an amazing partner. I have no idea how she could have treated him the way she did. The rain and thunder scene was magical, since Ladybug finally has fallen in love with him. It took her long enough. Cat Noir really was the best after going through all the situations he did. Being left out, underappreciated, especially compared to Formidable in Strike Back, and seeing Ladybug do the pound it with him. There pound it. His heart must have broken. Also, seeing the love of his life having a big mental breakdown and comforting her. He is incredible. I can't wait to see the next and final part of their story arc thus far. Now I'd like to hear your thoughts and theories on the finale. What do you think will happen in season 5? Let me know in the comments below. And that's all for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!